Coming up in ViewCast, together Vanderbilt and the state of Tennessee make a great pair. See the vital positive impact we're having on each other. Find out why these guys smell in stereo. And one Vanderbilt employee experiences cute gone viral. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with the ViewCast. Vanderbilt is proud to be a part of the fabric of Tennessee. A new report reflects our vibrant relationship with our home state and Vanderbilt's contributions to the state's economy. ViewCast Carol Bartu gives us more. A young man from Lebanon, Tennessee, works with Vanderbilt researchers to test a bionic leg, the world's first with powered ankle and knee joints. Deep brain stimulation surgery gives a Nashville man with Parkinson's disease hope for the future as a once frozen hand moves again. This finger tapped like this for me. That's, How's that feel? That feels good. And researchers look to caves in Tennessee for the next best drugs to fight a myriad of diseases. Vanderbilt University is fortunate to call Tennessee home. In our clinics, classrooms, and communities, we work each day to make a difference for all Tennesseans. America's great universities are just more and more the increasingly seen as the engines of American innovation, discovery, the economy, and the American dream. And that translates into an economic impact of nearly $8.6 billion contributed to our state's economy for fiscal year 2011-2012. As a top 20 national university, our visitors, employees, students, research and construction projects translate into dollars spent, healthcare provided, and innovations developed, all to support our role as a vibrant partner in our state's economy. This thing's really grown into something, and you think of investment in this, and then you think of 24,000 employees, over 100,000 alumni who changed the world, 13,000 students, and economic impact that is billions and billions of dollars. And we're young and just getting started. As Middle Tennessee's largest employer and the state's second largest employer, those billions of dollars in economic activity resulted in more than 57,000 jobs, with more than $3.4 billion earned in labor income. All of that economic activity translates into more than $221 million in tax revenue for Tennessee. But I do think people are looking to universities more and more and waking up and saying, wow, we have Vanderbilt and all these other colleges and universities here. How do we leverage off of that? That environment creates an atmosphere of exciting opportunities. Whether developing a wearable robot that helps paralyze people to walk or teaching our next generation of leaders, Vanderbilt looks for ways to serve our neighbors and our society at large. And we're seeing a lot of innovation out of Vanderbilt, new companies, new drugs, new medical devices, you know, we're a hub of innovation. We can do more. You know, we have a mission. We educate, we discover, we serve, and we cure. Vanderbilt is honored to be part of your community and to give back to this great state. You can read more about this on vu.edu slash vital stats. Tell you a story and it starts with time. With almost 40,000 faculty, staff, students, and medical professionals making up the combined Vanderbilt community, there are a lot of amazing stories to tell. Watch videos and read about the people who make up Vanderbilt on a special new website, Telling the Vanderbilt Story. Just go to vanderbilt.edu and search Vanderbilt Story. We all know humans and most mammals hear in stereo and often see in stereo, but can one nostril smell differently than the other? When it comes to moles, yes. New research from Vanderbilt's Ken Catania finds even though a mole's nostrils are close together, they rely on stereo sniffing to find their food. In this experiment, when a mole had his full nose, he found the food right away. But when one side of the mole's nose was plugged, the mole veered off in the wrong direction. Catania says the same stereo smelling may be found in other animals like dogs. Watch more of this video on vanderbilt.edu. Search moles. What's coming? 
the train. Are we gonna ride the train? Yeah. Are you one of those folks who can't resist clicking on a cute video? Well, one Vandy employee learned what it's like to be part of a viral phenomenon when folks on YouTube, Gawker, Fox, CBS, and more found an adorable video of his little girl. She was super excited to ride a train for the first time. Let's get on the train. Daniel Dubois is director of photography in Vanderbilt's Creative Services. His video has received more than two million hits on YouTube alone. Whoa. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wool.